Welcome back to the range. As you see right now, we have a new panelist here. We have Stephen Robinson. You know, Stephen, you want to tell um, the world a little bit about yourself? Uh, like you said, my name is Stephen Robinson. Uh, I'm a big fan of hip hop. Uh, I do some myself. I go by the stage name Steve Warren. You know, check out the MySpace. And uh, I'm just a senior here at SFA, just trying to do my thing and get on up out here. Good stuff. So really this forum is, you know, talking about, you know, hip-hop, you know, the, the players in it right now, you know, such Steven, you know, you know, the mainstream as well, and, you know, in the, in the direction of hip-hop for the future, you know, Steven, talk about it, man. Well, <clears throat> to me, hip-hop right now, it's kind of, uh, I don't know the word to say, but it's not like it used to, it used to be, like, it's like a lot of popular stuff right now, like dance music and whatnot, and you know, I am, um, if you end up doing stuff like that, you know, you getting your money, you know, do what you gotta do. But as, as far as for me and some people I know, like, music means a lot more than just, you know, trying to make a quick buck, you know? And I'm not disrespecting anybody that does that. To me, it's more like talking about stuff that's, you know, important and, uh, you know, being lyrical with your flow, you know, not just talking about cars and women and clothes, you know, but have an actual, actual deeper meaning with your lyrics, you know. Lyricism plays a big part in hip hop. That's why I fell in love with it. With people like Jay-Z, you know, he's been in the game. He's got his 11th album out right now. He's, you know, the reason he's been in the game so long is he talks about real stuff people can relate to. And, you know, I feel that. JB, how you feel, man? I mean, I can agree with that. I mean, like growing up, I mean, growing up, I listened to a lot of Nas when I was a kid. So, I mean, Nas, Nas was, like, he, he rapped about, like, like all this stuff he rapped about, like, he went deep, like, he, he went beyond, like, he went beyond, like, the source or whatever, and then was rapping about, he rapped from the heart, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all, like, pretty much all I like to jam to or whatever, I mean, I mean, nowadays, like, the new stuff, I mean, there's a few, th there's a few, like, new cats out there, like, they have, like, some good things, but, like, I mean, I like the, I'm pretty much old school, I like, like a lot of the old stuff. Chris? For me, I personally, I first grew up on Bone Thugs and Harmony coming up and then my mom, she was a real Biggie fan, so she put me on to him and my dad, he liked Pac better. So that's how I started listening to them and then as I began to listen to more and more, I started liking Jay-Z and then when I was growing up, they always said that the best lyricists always came from New York, so in the beginning, I was always listening to people from New York like Big Pun and Nas and Jay-Z and Big L and just people from up there. But then as I moved back down to the South, I started listening to more and more from the South. And like he said, a lot of people from the South, they usually always talk about money, cars, clothes, and women. And I mean, I guess having a Southern culture in my blood, it's like I like that type of music, such as like Lil Wayne and Chameleon there, Slim Thug, Gucci Mane, Ludacris, and all that. But when it comes to lyrical content, I do like to listen to like Jay Z and Common, and, you know, just just people like that. But it's it's real different now. It's it's real different. Not to create any type of beef or anything, you know, as such. But are there any you know artists out there that are you know that you consider detrimental, you know, to bring hip hop to what you know to what you think it should be, Stephen. <clears throat> it's you know, it's people out there that's hurting it, and there's people out there that's trying to help it. Like a lot of people say, hip hop is dead. You know, a lot of the old school people that listen to hip hop, they're like, you know, it's you know, it's not it's not going to be like it used to be. Like, so to me, the new generation, like. Kid Cudi, Drake, uh, Wally, people like that, Lupe, like, they have to bring something new to the plate, you know? Like, how it was for our parents, you know? We grew up different from that, like, it's not gonna be, it's not ever gonna be like how our parents grew up, you know? And when we have kids and they grow up, it's not gonna be how it was, when we, how it is now. So, I think that the new people in the game that are, actually doing something good for hip hop, they have to step up and be like, okay, this is what hip hop is, kind of like define it, and be like, this is what you need to do to 
reach the status and whatnot instead of you know hurting it. Or at least that's how I feel. JB, um, I mean, yeah, I don't like that. I just come across and like just bash this, bash like these rappers or whatever. But uh, they have some good things. But um, I feel like Soldier Boy. I mean, Soldier Boy pretty much he raps about the same things in his song. I mean, he's, I mean, he's becoming like. Like he hasn't. He needs to like just go deeper than just like exactly like what you can do. Like man, yeah, obviously he has talent because he's ma obviously making millions. But like you have to like go deeper, like go deeper with like from within and come out like with something that's like just pure. Um, and then you have what Bow Wow. Bow was like he, like the same thing. Um, like when I like also like back then like. When, but like growing up, like I listen to all, like also I listen to like a, like with KRS One and uh, like Rakim, like like when they like when they rap and like they I mean they put their it's like they put their soul into it like like what these kids like need to do they need to rap they need to rap about I wouldn't say the struggle or whatever but I mean come on everyone struggles they have to rap about like what's got you there and rap about what's gonna keep you there yeah. not like what you can. Like what all you've bought or something like that. It's like not rap about your accomplishments. Rap about rap about like your like your true true love for the for the rap game. Not just like what you know, like what material possessions you actually own. Chris. I think that a lot of people get hip hop the music mixed up with hip hop the culture. Like hip hop the music, I think about Common, Lupe, Kid Cudi, and all of them. But like as a culture, it's that's when the cars come into it, the clothes, the money, and all, the, all the like material things. And I, I feel that when people look at it, they include all of that, and like the people that rap about it, they just throw it all together because they all like want the same thing. They all have the same thing, so they just include it all as just being hip hop like dance music or so called that to me that's not hip hop that's just something you go to the club to and listen to but the way they live their lifestyle is the same way they live the same way as a hip hop artist live their lifestyle so they just assume that it's all hip hop all together as being a culture and music in one and I think that's where it gets confused with alright so how do y'all feel you know what what's gonna what is it gonna take you know for, you know, hip hop, you know, think about, you know, I mean, it's not going to be the same, as you said, you know, as, as it once was, you know, when, when, your, when your parents listen to it. But, you know, to return to that form where, you know, people can be like, hey, you know, what is it going to take to get back to that form? Man, I think that <coughs> people just need to, it's like, you have to remember where you came from. and hip hop artists need to look back, you know, like the late 80s, early 90s, and look like when hip hop was at its uh, most popular, I guess. I mean, it's still popular now, but like when it was at its like golden stage, like nobody could touch it. Like, like I love a tribe called Quest. And like, I think if you can get to that point where you can stamp something that's classic, timeless, like it doesn't matter how old you are, like when you're 50, you can go back and be like, man, this was a good group, or this was a good artist. I can just, no matter how old I am, I can just put that on there and listen to them. So I think that people just need to stop worrying so much about, uh, like he was saying, like the cars, the clothes, and all that stuff, and just like, just just rap about, just focus on lyrical content. Like, they lost soul, they would come to a music video, you know, they would just wear what they had on, 